This is what we're making today. Boiled fish. This is a tilapia. We're gonna fillet this. I had no access to black perch because that fish doesn't exist. There is such thing as yellow perch, but that's not sold anywhere near me. Especially with what's going on around the world. If you have no access to tilapia, you could choose any white meaty fish, like cod, rockfish, or sea bream. I chose tilapia because this cost me 7 bucks. If I bought cod or sea bream, that would have cost me 25 plus. Anyways, back to the cooking. After we fillet it, we're gonna skin it. This knife I was using was actually pretty dull. I was having trouble cutting through the fish. This was definitely not my best filleting or skinning moment, hence the video editing. After skinning the fish, we're gonna cut it on a bias. This will maximize the surface area. After cutting up the fish, we're gonna marinate in one tablespoon of Shaoxin wine and one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. Then, we're gonna add in two tablespoons of cornstarch, mix it, and then set it aside. Next, we're gonna cut off its head and the rest of its body. We're gonna throw the rest of this fish in cold water and then simmer it for about 45 minutes. We're gonna make a fish stock. After about 10 minutes, scum should start floating to the surface. We're gonna skim it out. This stuff's bitter and gross. After 45 minutes, your stock should look like this. We're gonna pick the head and tail out and set it aside. We're gonna use it for garnish later. Now let's make a 5 spice. In my tiny little blender, we're going to add in 3 tablespoons of citron peppercorns, a quarter cup of dried red chilies, a teaspoon of fennel seeds, 1 star anise, and a tablespoon of coriander seeds. We're going to give this a blitz for about a minute until you have a coarse 5 spice. We don't want this to turn into powder. Before we start cooking, we're going to mince some garlic, slice up some ginger, Slice up the top of a green onion, the bottom on a bias, then slice up a celery on a bias as well. Now let's start cooking. First goes in the ginger, we're going to saute this for about a minute. Then in goes 3 cloves of garlic, we're going to saute this for another minute. Then we're going to add in 3 tablespoons of our 5 spice, saute it for about 2 minutes and then 3 tablespoons of doubanjang, or chili bean paste. We're going to saute this for about 5 minutes, developing more flavor. Then we're going to add in 3 liters of our fish stock. Once our soup starts to simmer, we're going to add in our fish. It's very important that we don't bring this to a rolling boil, or this fish will disintegrate. Once the fish is in, we're going to give this a gentle stir and cook it for about 2 minutes. Cooking this fish longer than 2 minutes will cause this fish to lose its firmness. So after 2 minutes, take this fish out and then set it aside. Now we're going to finish the soup. We're going to season it with salt to suit our taste. Then we're going to add in about half a cup of cornstarch slurry to slightly thicken this sauce. This will help the soup coat the fish. And for our final step, we're going to quickly saute some bean sprout, some green onions, and some celery. This will act as the basin for our soup. Just before it's fully cooked, we're going to start to plate.
This to me is what comfort food is. Every time I go to a Sichuan restaurant, I always order this with a side of mapo tofu. The fish is firm and the soup is spicy. It's delicious. And that's all I got to say about this dish. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.